Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard. And this morning, Universal Japan or Universal itself announced an open day for Super Nintendo World, or sorry, an opening season for Super Nintendo World and Universal Studios Japan. And they also said that uh, a pop, like kind of like a pop up shop, or I don't know if it's a pop shop or permanent. But a Nintendo uh, Super a Mario Cafe and a Mario uh, store will open as early as October 16th, which is next week. So we got a couple runnings for that, and we're going to start off with the cafe first. This is the running for the Mario Cafe. looks absolutely gorgeous and so playful, and again, just like Mario looks like I'm in uh, Super Nintendo World already. And if this is what a preview of the restaurants are going to be in there, it's gonna, I'm super excited for that. I mean, even on the walls, you have the pipes and it looks like a little turtle shell there, and some some stools or those. I think those are tables for some indoor seating. And here's some of the stuff they will have. And they're mostly drinks and desserts. Um, forgive me, I don't know the name. I don't remember the name of a lot of these drinks. But if you want to see the full name, you can go on WDWNT, which is right. I have a full article which gives you the drinks and the names and all that good stuff. But this is a Mario themed drink. As you see, there's a cherry involved. And it comes with its own little mustache on the straw, which is pretty cute. And then they have a Luigi version with a Luigi mustache. And that looks like it's a lemon. It's yellow. And I can't really tell because it's kind of blurry. But uh, there's a lemon. And I think it's a lemon in there. But also, there's also a cherry in that drink as well. A Mario, and by the way, I think these are. Uh, I know, these are 100% non-alcoholic, so, um, if you guys were wondering, uh, definitely geared towards children, because it's Super Nintendo World, it's geared towards families to children, so definitely some non-alcoholic drinks here. Here's the Princess Peach version of this drink, with the, um, I don't know what that is on the left, maybe strawberry, and, uh, definitely the cherry, it looks like the album come with this cherry, and you get a crown and a pink straw, so very, very festive and very themed. The uh, little girls drinking that, or, or, or boys, will feel like uh, kings and queens, I'm sure. Then we get on to the desserts, the pastries here. And this, I know, is a strawberry shortcake. And, and it comes with the phrase, who's cap? This is the Mario theme one shame, just like his cap. And... It's asking whose cap is this? Obviously, it's Mario's cap, and it looks great. This I'm sure. Uh, Why well, there's a strawberry shortcake cake, and I'm sure this looks like the is that, is that cream or is that butter? For I think it's cream. Then moving on next, we have the Luigi version, and this I I'm I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like it's minty. I don't know what's on the top, but again, it just looks like maybe mint ice cream. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks very minty. And I personally might prefer, I don't even like strawberry, but I probably would, my personal opinion, probably prefer the Mayo version. But this one, you get the Okie Dokie. A little. I wonder if those are edible. Those thought bubbles. I can imagine it'd be like maybe a cookie or something. But this is probably the one I would choose. And this is uh, the mushroom candy. Um bucket and looks like it comes uh I guess that's uh, I thought it came with candy but um that I thought sorry I thought candy was in the back of it like Snickers or something but like M&M's like those yellow M&M's but it looks like uh the marshmallow sipper in fact they I don't think they probably don't have many drinks in there but whatever it is it looks very themed so moving on to my favorite part of the article in this video, and whatever, what Universal released there. It's Universal, or the Mario Store. Um, and not that big, as see, it's taking over two locations, right, in, um, Hollywood, in their Hollywood section of the park. I forgot the names, but they're on the main drag of the Hollywood section of Universal Studios Japan. And they'll be quickly converted into, uh, these, this, these pop-up shops, or permanent shops by next week, but it's a cute little store, but again, very nice festive theming, and even that sky, I wonder if that sky will be like the Caesars Palace and those Vegas hotel skies where they kind of change colors, or if it will just always be little in the daytime like that, but I feel like with the universe, I feel like it will definitely change colors, because that looks super cool, and we're going to go through some of the cool stuff they have in here, including 
this awesome shirt. Um, at first glance, I thought it was a button down, and I looked at it again, and it's obviously not a button down. And it almost looks like it's for, like, well, not babies, but, like, little children. Just because it looks like, because it looks obviously more wide than tall, and looks kind of short. But, I'm sure these are just example pictures, and I'm, I'm sure they'll be all, all types of sizes. Because that looks pretty dope. I would honestly want to buy myself one of those shirts. I mean, that looks really cool. And also, I hope some of this merchandise that's here eventually comes into Hollywood either before or, or when or before uh, our Super Nintendo World opens since ours is coming up next. I mean, awesome. It'd be awesome if they put some of this stuff in the Universal Studio store, like this awesome pillow that says, Who's Cat? But obviously a Mario theme. And, but yeah, it'd be awesome if they put some of this stuff in the Universal Studio store, and then when the parks reopen, may, uh, some of the, maybe Production Central, or some, some of this stuff in the, uh, the parks. In fact, I wonder if they can make a Super Nintendo World pop-up shop here in the park, since they, they did it so quickly over there, months before ours, or even a year before ours opened, just to, to get everybody in the mood. But here's another cool pillow, with the Who's Cap Thought Bubble. And Mario caps and Mario mustaches. Um, I, I bet those p pillows are very com really comfortable. And we have Mario keychain. Is this a, it's a keychain? Yeah, definitely a keychain. I suppose say because that kind of looks like a, maybe a wallet, those big wallets. But no, definitely a keychain. And uh, is that a pouch? I think that's a pouch and something maybe like put your pass in. Or your ticket. You know how Universal has those lanyards you can put your tickets or passes in that might that looks like something like that. Um, but again the whole theme here is just that white and red, those cartoony Mario colors which is awesome. Here's a Princess Peach wallet. I think that's definitely a wallet. Or pouch. Um, and this one says whose crown? Whose crown is it? Comment below guys. I'm pretty sure it's Princess Peach's but whose crown is it? Um, but yeah, it's nice to have something for everybody here, which is so cool. And I, it's hard to tell the size of these things, obviously, from the pictures, but when these things open, we'll obviously get to see some videos, and uh, we'll to see how what the sizes for all these things are, including these awesome pouches, or wallets, um, for Mayo, Luigi, <laughs> and Princess Peach, or a king? I think this is king. That's a king. Uh, let me know what character that could be. Is it, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what character the king is. Uh, my Mario, uh, my Mario world knowledge is failing me at the moment. But this merchandise is so dope. Here's another just a nice little keychain, a Mario thing, Mario themed keychain. I'm sure we'll get a Luigi one next. Um. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice Mario keychain. But it's awesome to have all this merch lined up. I guess it makes sense to have this merch lined up because the land was supposed to be open by now. So they're getting all the merch ready to go for its opening. And our last picture here. It looks like, okay, so here's the candy box. <laughs> looks like they have a nice uh, candy uh, assortment of candy boxes. It says Universal Studios Japan on them. It has the who's cap and who's crown phrases. They have the crown, Mario, Luigi, and their mustaches. And they have some nice treats. Orange and cherry, it looks like, in this box. Which looks like, maybe looks like some, some, looks like shuffle type. Some shuffles, probably. And they look pretty good. But what do you guys think about all this nicely, freshly released merchandise? They uh they released a new rendering which is the thumbnail of this, of this video of the land itself. It's just about done. If you can if you go on Twitter, uh mostly Twitter, but you can see um some of the uh, vloggers or in Japan and some of the reporters in Japan have posted some awesome aerial aerial photography and photography from inside the parks of the completed land itself. It looks fantastic. It's very uh interactive land the pieces are moving all over the place. It's super immersive and interactive. I cannot wait to step into Super Nintendo World here in Hollywood. Speaking of that, I'll be doing a Super Nintendo World construction update on Saturday from when I go to CityWalk for my video over there. So subscribe for that. 
like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and share it if you want. And of course, subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.